Your first gray hairs can be really, really stressful. They're a wake-up call. And that's why many of the ulama, they say when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَوَلَمْ نُعَمِّرْكُمْ مَا يَتَذَكَّرُ فِيهِ مَنْ تَذَكَّرُ nadir. Haven't we given you a long enough life to figure it all out? And the nadir, the warner came to you. They say that gray hair is actually the warner that Allah is talking about. It's a sign that you're getting closer to your return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is why the Prophet said, أَعْذَرَ اللَّهُ إِلَىٰ أَمْرِئٍ أَخْرَ أَجَلَهُ حَتَّى بَلَغَ سَتِينَ سَنَةً Allah will forgive a person up until they reach the age of 60. Meaning the proof has been established against them at that point. So that's one element of this. The other element is what caused that gray hair to sprout other than old age. Gray can be induced, of course, by stress. And Allah says about the Day of Judgment, يَوْمًا يَجْعَلُ الْوُلْدَانَ shiba That it would be so severe that it would turn a newborn's hair gray. The Prophet he was known to not have much gray hair. But he had this sudden onset, and when he was asked why, he said, Shayabatni Hud wa akhawatuha. It was all from Surah Hud and its sister surahs, the surahs that are like it. So, what's the takeaway in this regard? Anything that was used for Allah, anything that aged for Allah, anything that was induced for Allah is actually a great sign of honor. You look at the person who has endured a wound in the cause of Allah or someone who put their joints through stress from the amount of worship or service that they did, or someone who has a mark of prostration on their forehead. And the list goes on and on and on and on. But the point is that the marks of the righteous in this world will certainly be streaks of reward in the hereafter. One of the people the Prophet said Allah would not even look at or speak to on the day of judgment is Shaykh Zani, an old man who committed adultery. Because with all those years and with diminished desire, he still went ahead and disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But on the other hand, you have those people who lived long lives of worshiping Allah and they're special. And by the way, we should be honoring them as well. The Prophet said, Laysa minna man nam yarham sagirana wa ya'rif sharafa kabirana. He is not one of us who does not have mercy on our youth nor knows the honor of our elders. And so, SubhanAllah, the youth require mercy, not harshness. The elders, on the other hand, require honor, not mockery. And that's how you start to build a prophetic and balanced community. So how does Allah honor that age on the Day of Judgment? The Prophet SallAllahu said, مَنْ شَابَ شَيْبَةً فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ كَانَتْ لَهُ نُورًا يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ Whoever grows a gray hair in Islam, it will be a light for that person on the Day of Judgment. And the Prophet SallAllahu also said that practically, do not pluck your gray hairs for that reason. You can dye them if you want to in ways that are permissible, of course, and you can cut your hair, but don't pluck them entirely as they will shine on the day of judgment for you. So as Imam Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah said, أَفْضَلُ النَّاسِ ثَوَابًا يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ الْمُؤْمِنُ الْمُعَمِّرُ He said, rahimahullah ta'ala, the most rewarded people on the day of judgment are believers who led long lives of righteousness. Now in the broader sense, it's not just about gray hairs. The gray hairs merely speak to this trend of marks of righteousness that are shining on the Day of Judgment. So for the Shaheed, for example, the martyr, the Prophet said, مَا مِن مَجْرُوحٍ يُجْرَحُ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَاللَّهُ أَعْلَمُ بِمَنْ يُجْرَحُ فِي سَبِيلِهِ No one is wounded in the cause of Allah. And Allah knows who is sincerely wounded for His cause. إِلَّا جَاءَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَجُرْحُهُ كَهَيْئَتِهِ يَوْمَ جُرِحَ وَاللَّوْنُ لَوْنُ دَمٍ he will come on the day of judgment and his wounds will be looking just like the day that he was wounded. And the color of that blood will be the color of blood, but the difference is that the blood will have the smell of musk and no one is feeling sorry for that person on that day because they are beaming with light in all of the places that they were wounded for the sake of Allah. So I think about Hamza radiallahu ta'ala anhu with his chest beaming on the Day of Judgment or Khalid radiallahu ta'ala anhu who said, every part of my body has been marked for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at this point in my life. And then you connect that to this other group of people. You see Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu and this large group of people coming forward and they have these long, elegant necks. And the Prophet sallallahu said, Al-Mu'addinuna atwalu nasi a'naqan yawm al-qiyamah that the callers to prayer will have the longest necks of the people on the Day of Judgment. Now Imam al-Nawi rahimahullah, he explains that the Arabs refer to nobility and people of leadership as people of long necks. 
So these people are the forerunners. Now, some of the scholars, they say that the Mu'addin is connected to the Masjid because there is a person that is so regular in the Masjid that the people yield to them for their decision-making. And so there is also a position in this life that's denoted by that position in the hereafter. And then there's something that connects to the tongue here because this tongue is shouting out what? Shouting out the dhikr of Allah, the remembrance of Allah. And Abu Sa'id al-Khudri said that the Prophet ﷺ taught that even if you're alone in the mountains, call the adhan. For verily the sound of the Mu'addin's voice is not heard by a jinn, by a human being, or any creation, except that it will testify for him on the Day of Judgment. So what's the takeaway from this? If I'm not old, I'm not a Mu'addin, and I'm not a warrior. One of the questions that you're going to be asked on the Day of Judgment is عن جسمه فيما أبلا. It's one of the first things you're asked about. What consumed your body? So any wrinkle, any gray hair, any one of those stretch marks for the mothers out there who literally were in jihad with their pregnancy, any dark circle under your eyes due to the sleeplessness from Qiyam or from concern that you had for this Ummah, all of that is going to be light on the Day of Judgment so long as it was for the sake of Allah, so long as it was sincere, fi sabilillah. And the practical side for the community is just like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to honor those marks on the Day of Judgment, we see those marks in our community as badges of honor amongst us. Alhamdulillah. We are happy to announce the launch of the One Islam TV app. Watch hundreds of high quality produced Islamic reminders, Quran learning videos, stories of the prophets, and so much more. Two new videos uploaded daily, insha'Allah. Watch videos on demand or download videos and watch offline. No more annoying ads or pop-ups. 100% safe browsing for your peace of mind. Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest, or drive with your device switched off. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariyah, continuous charity for you, as we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders. Insha'Allah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. So you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.